let us find the voltage regulation or percentage regulation of a full wave rectifier we know that volta voltage regulation of a full wave rectifier is given by v v for v no load minus v full load by v full load so v no load minus v full load divided by v full load now well, let us see what is this v no load and v this v full load v dc or v full load full load is nothing but where when load is present normal load is present it is called full load therefore here we know the formula for v dc is 2 vm by pi where the since we are assuming the forward resistance or the diode as ideal so we didn't take consider this formula now here rl by rl plus rf where this is for full load this is for phi full load now if we take rl is equal to in this is for v full load now we no load no load in the sense when load is not present or when we open circuit the when we open circuit the load or removing the load removing the load is nothing but open circuit so rl is equal to infinity substitute rl equal to infinity in this expression where rl by rf by rl so 1 by infinity will be 0 so pi into 1 so 2 vm by pi is the vdc no load whereas vdc full load is vm by pi into pi into rl by rl plus rf so here substitute, substitute this one in this formula so v no load minus v full load by v full load 2 vm by pi minus 2 vm by pi rl by rl plus rf by v 2 vm by pi rl by rl plus rf now taking out 2 vm by pi common from the numerator you will you will be left with 1 minus rl by rl plus rf in the denominator rl by rl plus rf taking lcm in the numerator rl rl plus rf minus rl divided by rl plus rf divided by rl by rl plus rf simplifying this one you get rf by rl 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 into 100 percent this is for Volt, voltage regulation for a full wave rectifier when if you have seen the voltage regulation for half wave rectifier is also rl rf by rl into 100 percent now let us solve a problem on a, a rectifiers a half wave rectifier consists of a diode whose internal resistance is 20 ohm and is used to supply power to 1 kilo ohm from 110 volts secondary secondary transformer voltage calculate peak cur load current that is im dc dc current idc ac current irms efficiency percentage regulation and dc voltage vdc so now here from the statement this statement you can know it is a half wave rectifier so we have to use if all the formulas are half day now internal resistance that is nothing but diode has internal resistance of 20 ohms if it is given you have to consider if it is not given in the problem regarding internal resistance of the diode you can assume it as 0 volts sorry 0 ohms 0 ohms as the internal resistance of the diode now here you also have uh, and is used to supply power to 1 kilo ohm where load is nothing but 1 kilo ohm or 1000 thousand ohms now from 110 volt secondary volt secondary of the transformer so this is the secondary voltage which is nothing but 110 volts this is an uh, rms value or ac value which we have to we were converting into a dc value now calculate just we'll see what now i am we have we peak voltage i am we have to find rf is given as 20 v s rms this is secondary voltage rms is, is given as 110 volts rl is given as 1000 ohms now secondary voltage rms value whatever the rms value we have calculated is that is for the output voltage this is secondary voltage rms value whether it is a for a half wave rectifier or a full wave rectifier rms value of secondary rms volt secondary rms value is given by vm by root 2 that formula whatever we have derived is different from what that is for voltage 
output voltage secondary RM, uh, output voltage RMS value where this here it is secondary voltage before the rectifier at the secondary of the transformer RMS value is given by Vm by root 2. So v, Vm here Vm he is nothing. Here, if we take VRMS is given as 110 ohms. So, from this formula, VRMS, VM is given by VM into root 2. So, here you calculate here. Here we will calculate VM is equal to VRMS into root 2. So, VRMS is nothing but 110. 110 into root 2, you will get us. 155.56 this is wrong this is so vm vm is equal to 155.56 now let us calculate the peak voltage im im is nothing but vm by rl plus rf where it is nothing but for a half wave rectifier just calculate here this is a half wave rectifier you have a resistor here apply cable here this is a vm right RF is the internal resistance of the diode and RL. If you apply KVL, let us assume that a current is IM. Therefore, it will be VM is equal to I RF into IM plus. So, from this one, IM is equal to VM by RL plus RF. 155.56 divided by 1000 plus 20. So, calculate this one and simplifying this one, you will get this 152.50 milliamperes as the peak current now dc value we know that dc value of uh, half wave rectifier is given by this is the output voltage dc value current dc value i m by pi substitute here you get 48.54 irms is given by i m by 2 some simplify this one you get 152.52 is the vm and divided by 2 76.25 milliamperes now vdc is given by vm by pi we have calculated vm which is nothing but this vm by pi 155.56 pi 40 point so this is 49.5 volts as the dc voltage now calculating the efficiency efficiency is given by eta is equal to 40.56 for half wave rectifier if the internal resistance is given you have to take as 1 plus rf by rl here you have to take otherwise rf we have taken as 0 and we only you got as 40.52 so substitute rf and RL, rl rf is 20 rl is 1000 substitute here you get 39.72 is the efficiency of a half wave rectifier given for given values now we'll know the voltage regulation or the percentage regulation is given by rl by rf into 100 rl is rf is 20 rl is 1000 into 100 therefore you simplifying this one you get two percent two percent is the regulation 